Hello, and welcome to Kyber Shards, a 5th edition actual play show set in the Eberron campaign world in the age of Kulsir. Colin! Uh-huh. What happened last time? We scaled a wall mm -hmm. to get into the Dreadhold. Uh, we succeeded a whole bunch in that. We got into the prison proper and uh, then decided that we were going to do some investigation work. And so we sent uh, Ilya and Thistle into the watchtower center hold where they are deeply incognito to try to find uh, the prisoner cell listing or inmate mm -hmm. number, some, something that we can use to find out where Cardane is. And uh, then as the remaining Kadric, Bajak, and uh, Donabella were in the courtyard waiting for their return, we discovered the whereabouts of our lost rebellion compadre the legendary Wendy uh, and she is about to be tortured by an interrogator and so Bajak has taken off to follow them to Wendy try with to the begin surname <laughs> to <laughs> try to begin the rescue process and so we are split three ways mm -hmm. and everything's fine yep as all groups should be yeah uh, all right said so exclusively DMs <laughs> Three ways for only five players is extra <laughs> impressive, I feel like. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're in a new... So that was our complication, and um, Bajak has followed the complication. Uh, so we are in a new round uh, of rolls. So anybody is, is available to, to roll, except that Bajak cannot roll on the main task. Mm. Um, Bajak has created a new task uh, and can only roll toward the accomplishment of that task. Uh, so, um, who would like to make a roll first toward the task that they are helping with? As it stands, I don't think Kadrick's helping with anything at the moment. He's kind of on standby, so I'm going to hold my roll for now. Okay. Well, and can... We... Go ahead. Nope, you go. Uh, I know your answer is just going to be like, well, tell me, but in case it isn't... <laughs> Spot um... on impression. <laughs> Uncanny. <laughs> Um, where are Ilya and Thistle? Are we still in transit? Did we make it to the tower? Uh, you guys put resources into reaching the tower. So I'm going to say that between flight and, cr and climbing and invisibility and tininess, uh, you are uh, climbing in through a third, third floor window in the tower. Awesome. Mia, I think you're muted. Your mouth I... just moved. Oh, no, it just does that sometimes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bajak's just going to try to stealth and follow. Sure. So I can make that roll real quick. Yeah, since please that's do. Pretty straightforward. 28. Ooh. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, <laughs> that's a successful check. <clears throat> that's real good. Uh, I actually have a question. Um, mm hmm. How many people is Bajak following? Two, Two? people. Mm -hmm. um, my first inclination was to go with Bajak initially. Mm -hmm. um, I, you, I'm. You can. Okay. Yeah, I would really like to go with. Okay. Uh, so Bajak and Kadric have this silent conversation in which they reach an understanding that this is something Bajak <laughs> must do alone. Uh, and then Donabella has a separate, s side, a separate silent conversation in which she goes, screw that noise. Yep. And uh, <laughs> me nerd, you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> yep. Your eyebrows aren't the boss of me. <laughs> uh, and, Correct. And takes off. This seems I had a server extremely on brand. Okay, uh, good. So, yes. Um, sure, yeah. So your roles in this round will also go towards the task of rescuing uh, Wendy. Um, I would be happy to roll a stealth. Uh, stealth has, roll. Been, has been used on this task, so it will have to be oh. something else. 
Okay. Um, how about I cast invisibility on myself? Sweet. If you got that ability, then go for it. All right. And all I do is just click the use button. Uh huh. All right. All right. So, uh, Cadric, you look around and Donabella is just gone. Um, <laughs> what <Which> leadership? <laughs> what leadership from Cadric? <laughs> keeping this, this whole thing together. <laughs> that is what Cadric is doing, is sitting there going, how did I, <laughs> all by myself out here? <laughs> uh, all right, yeah. Uh, so, um, Bajak very stealthily and Donabella invisibly uh, follow after the uh, the interrogator and his minion. Uh, they walk um, sort of diagonally across the ward to uh, one of the red uh, ward towers and open a door. Um, the guard on the door uh, nods, uh, salutes, uh, and says, uh, Interrogator Varosh, the prisoner is ready. Uh, Can I see all of this from where I am? Am I able to track from my location where uh, they went to? Uh, uh, Jacques rolled real high. Um, uh, I'm not watching him. Yeah. <laughs> the yes. other two are not sneaking away. I'm <laughs> looking for where the interrogator is going. You do see that they go across the ward to the um, to one of the okay. red ward towers. Uh, okay, so Kadric and or uh, Bajak and uh, Donabella have both rolled successfully in that test. Uh, so far, no rolls have been made successful to make the other task successful. <coughs> I would like to um, <laughs> look for the warden's office. Like sure, we've made that... it to the correct floor. <laughs> sure. Um, uh, and, and at this stage, only one success is necessary to accomplish your task. So you're you're very close. Um, so you can absolutely make a either I guess investigation or perception would be the, the logical one. Yeah. But I'll take pitches for other things. The O's are the logical ones. That <laughs> this was not super strong in. Good news Can is you're I not acrobatics alone. my way. <laughs> uh, Somersaulting from office to office. The good news right. is that you're not alone. So if if Ilya wanted to make that role, if if Ilya is better at either of those things, that's true. Uh, Ilya, are yeah, you good plus, at investigating or perceiving? I have a plus seven for perception. Oh, right. that's so much better <laughs> than one. <laughs> It is. is Which is my uh, higher one. Oh. Yeesh. What? <laughs> uh, it's a 15, which... 15 is not is, a success. But I can push it! But <laughs> you can push. You can. I'm I'm so excited. This is, it's the best mechanic because the DMs... <laughs> it's the best mechanic because the players are excited to take mm-hmm. damage. So yeah. Yeah. If you don't return this in the next campaign, I am going to be lost. <laughs> I 23. Nice. Awesome. Nice. Uh, okay. Yes. So using the documents that Donabella stole for you uh, and you guys slip through a window uh, and find yourself in a, um, a dark corridor. Um, but after a little bit of searching, uh, you spot a ornate set of double doors um, and head towards them uh, and carefully push the doors up. Now, you've succeeded at the task, but because the solution that you have is to try and uh, and, and sneak into a very dangerous part of the of the dungeon. I am going to make a roll to just see whether there is a problem here. <laughs> oh, brother! <laughs> Good news. Uh, I rolled a natural one, so um, that's good for you. Uh, so the door. Swings open and you find yourself in uh, what you pretty quickly assess to be a records room. Um, and it is, uh, so you're going to find it. I would like one of you to roll me um, a check to just determine how long it takes searching through here to find the information that you want. Um, 
investigation, uh, perception. Um, I would even allow insight in the sense of like, okay, I can tell how this is organized, that kind of thing. Uh, so one of you can do that. This does not count in the you can't roll if you've already rolled system. For My... for our sake, Ilya, I would suggest that you do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say, I, perception is the best one, but I did just roll perception, so it seems kind of... You know. I have insight one, perception one, and inv investigation zero. This is oh. also, this is also uh... a check within the regular rules of checks, meaning that one of you could take the help <laughs> action and give the other advantage. <gasps> I would love to help Ilya so much. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Then I'll roll my sure. perception with advantage. It's a 16. That's not very high. It's not very high. Um, so, as I said, you're going to find it. This is just for speed. So you can push that if you want, but the consequences are just it takes longer, not you don't find what you want. We'll just take longer. Is it dark in here, too? It is, In the yes. building? Okay. Yeah. Does Nobody who have... works here needs light. <clears throat> Does this will have dark vision? That's a really excellent this question. Will... <clears throat> Does not. So this is why Which makes it sense. takes us why? a little bit of time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I also imagine just like at, while we're coming in here, Thistle like bumping into furniture and stuff and Ilya having to guide her around. Right. <laughs> nope. Oh my god. Nope. <laughs> That's really funny. Bumping records uh, all off. Right. So yes, so you you two begin searching through, trying to figure out the organization, trying to figure out how to identify which prisoner is Cardain. Uh, and Ilya, yeah, I'm very glad you came. This this <laughs> is much better with with the two instead of just the one. People are always glad when I'm here. <laughs> I see why. Well, I don't see well, but. Uh, so, Cadric, what are what are you going to be doing while all this is going on? You're you're out there and I'm sweating, your team is scattered, <laughs> sweating, Sw sweating uh, nervously trying not to use the communicator to talk to either of them, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because then I'm sitting here trying to think like, how do I participate in this? This is like the missed round here. I, yeah. I am I'm staying out of sight. Is what I'm going to be doing? Okay. Um, if you can think of something you might have done previously that would provide some sort of aid to Donabella and, and Bajak's efforts, um, or something you tried to acquire earlier, or something like that, if you can think of something previous that Cadric might have tried to do, I'll allow you to make a roll to, to aid in that effort. Um, I think I would for, for the Donabella and Bajak side, I would have known the dossier of Wendy very well. And so mm -hmm. known what sort of aid they could give her, like if, if she needed to have something in her hand when they liberate her, like some, some way that she could be uh, at an advantage when they get to her. Okay, cool. Um, that definitely seems like something Cadric knows, and I'm trying to think of what to get you to roll. Um, for that, I snuck the information to them, so it's stealth. <laughs> well, I mean, I'll tell you what. Since this is something you know, but you didn't know you were going to need to do this ahead of time. Uh, first of all. You tell me what species and class is Wendy. Uh, Wendy. Ooh, that's a very good question. Boy, can I just name something instead? You have. Um, I, I no. I mean, can I just have an NPC's name responsibility? Oh. That's, that's no. way better. No. Um, <laughs> no, because I was just thinking that this one is way more easy to come up with. <laughs> We're locked in because now I'm already thinking about that. I have to be able to give them some sort of advantage. Uh, Wendy is a fighter. Okay. Um, and they are a a duelist, so they are going to need access to some kind of uh, blade 
okay. to be the most effective if if it were to involve them fighting there in the room. All right, then make a stealth roll uh, to have like grabbed something or noticed something or like handed the, a the dagger handoff. to yeah. Bajak. Sure. Will a twenty-seven do? A twenty-seven will do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Awesome. All right, so we've got three successes on rescuing Wendy. Uh, and after a little while, uh, Donabella and Ilya um, find the identification, identity, or the identity marker for Cardane. Um, Cardane, what did I say? Thistle and Ilya. Did I say Donabella and Ilya? Okay. Yeah. Thistle and Ilya, sorry. <laughs> Donabella, how'd you get here? I, who knows? <laughs> got lost. I'm invisible. <laughs> uh, Cardane is identified uh, as prisoner gold 14. Oh, gold wing. Um, and now we get to roll a complication. Uh, so who would like to roll the d6? I cursed the last one. I'll take this one. Okay. I just got marker all over my pink top. It's a six. So it's the newest of his terrible ideas. Okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, so uh, uh, oh, this is a strange one. Um, okay. Uh Bajak and Donabella, as you are crossing the ward after, um, a, a patrol goes by and it forces you to like hold for just a just a moment. And that little bit of delay gives the guard on the tower the time to close the door oh. that you that your quarry just went through. Um, so the result here is a dead end, um, which results in in subtracting one success from the task. So uh, you've been slowed down in your pursuit, and so you're back down to two successes instead of three. Uh, all right, new round. So Ilya and uh, uh, Thistle slip back out um, the window and begin crossing toward Cadric, who's now alone. <laughs> Hi, guys. Uh... Hi. Hi. Okay, so we got a little distracted. We found Wendy. It happens sometimes. And I'm so <laughs> glad you understand, because I don't, frankly. Uh, we found Wendy, uh, and that's where Bajak and Donabella went after. They went over in that direction. Uh, did you find what we were looking for? Yes. Okay, He's a good. gold prisoner, 14. Gold. Interesting. You should check with the Why others. Why do they go by themselves? Uh, you know how Bajak gets. I, I couldn't. I couldn't stand in his way. And before I could say anything to Donabella, she was invisible. I could, uh, she does. Uh, over the communicator. Are you okay? <laughs> Bajak thinks why does he always want to talk when we're doing a stealth thing and it's not to talk <clears throat> we have uh, the information do you need us is that the response the deep side <laughs> I, think, I think they're okay I think I think they're okay maybe we maybe we look into the gold rooms are, are the communicators like um an earbud, or are they like a walkie-talkie? Uh, Does everyone around hear them, or wow. it's quiet and discreet? Uh, they're probably discreet. Okay. <laughs> breaker, breaker. Uh, how are you guys doing out there on the stealth mission? Over. <laughs> Status check on the sneak. It's a thing. It's a thing. Child Cadric would do. So. <laughs> yeah. Um. um. While we're while Donabel and Bajak are held because the door shut, um, Bajak touches his communicator and whispers, 
if you have the prisoner number, I can locate Cardane. We need this guard by the door gone so that we can sneak in and get Wendy. Like, gone, gone? No, just distract him. Get him to step away from the door. Oh. Or kill him. I don't care. But just something <laughs> quiet and fast. Um, how many other... What's the nearest person to this? Like, who's gonna see if something suspicious happens? So, the inner ward is not a highly populated area. Um, again, most of the guards here are undead, uh, and so they move on their patrols rather than, you know, wandering around like free-willed creatures. Um, so... Uh, that's that's working for you in this occasion. There are a few um, there are a few living officers here. Uh, the guard on the door of the tower that um, Bajak and, Il- and uh, Donabella are trying to get into um, looks to be a human uh, member of the Order of the Emerald Claw. Um, other than that. Uh, there's people on the walls, walking on the walls. There's people on the towers. There's a chance of being sighted. How far are what? we from the door? A, a ways. Where the guard is. Um, what, what do you want to do? Uh, I want to get close enough, and I want to distract with mage hand. I want to knock something off. Uh, that uh, okay. purge. So that, that will require getting pretty darn close. Yep, um, I gotta get so within 30. The, so the check here would be a stealth check to sneak over there and try and knock something over with Mage Hand. I will uh, announce my intention to the other two and do that. Pushing that one to 21. Okay. Uh, you managed to get over and you use Mage Hand to knock over uh, a lantern or something. That's exactly uh, what I was going to say. The on go- top wait, of there aren't any lanterns. Well, yeah, there actually aren't any it's lanterns, just even not- though this guard is human. There, there are no lanterns. But yes, something is knocked over. The guard uh, turns and steps away from the door, not very far, but just a little ways to sort of look at the clattering sound. Bajak, um, uh, oh, go ahead. Okay. Nope. Well, at at Bajak saying, or kill him, uh, what Donabella would have, I feel like Donabella would immediately have gone, okay. And so my thought is if, if, Cadric has distracted him and he turns around. Um, Donna Bella would like to just stab him in the back. <laughs> okay. Gold. Unless Bajak had a I different. Was gonna le- do. <laughs> Bajak was just going to sprint for the door once he turned around uh, <laughs> to get in to the tower. But Bajak can't see Donna Bella. So <laughs> he can still does that. Can both of those things happen? Yeah, they absolutely can. Okay. I would like to be moving closer at this point in case uh, I need to help with this. Sure, sure. This will just follow in Ilya. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is one of those times where I feel like it's not the smartest thing to do, but it feels like exactly what the character would do. That's the thing to do. Yep. Okay. Uh, all right, Donabella. So you are attacking out of stealth uh, against an unaware opponent. So you're going to have advantage on this attack, and you can choose uh, which of your various attacks to use. Um... Ta- does Tasha's mind whip that doesn't take anybody out, right? It it does it some just damage. Sort of incapac- it does some damage. Yeah. It will also, yeah, it will also prevent him from um, immediately reacting, which is a good thing for what you're trying to do. Can I, like, as soon as Donabella does this, also pounce on him, like, just in case? What's the what's the range? What kind of range attack you have? 
far how far can you be and attack? Um, I see. have Eldritch Blast. Okay. So like 120 feet. Then yes, you. Can but I was. Do I want to like hit him with my uh. Oh, what's it called? The scimitar is still? You have a way to cut with the distance quickly? How far away is it? Mm. I mean, you guys started heading over there. Um, what what options do you have for covering the distance quickly? Well, my walking speed is 35 feet, and technically, if we were in an initiative, I would get plus 10 mm -hmm. to my walking speed on and the you first can, turn. And you can bonus action dash, right? As a glue soccer? I? I thought you could. I thought you did that during our practice game. Um, I don't think. I may have imagined that you did that during our practice game. I thought you did. I think I just used the first turn thing. Uh, okay. Anyway, yes, you ninety feet's fine. You can you can definitely get there. Okay. Donabella, you're making an attack. Yes. Yes. And you have advantage. All right. So I first click use for Tasha's mind whip. Uh, yes. Or do I? Okay. Psychic dam damage of 12. What? That, that doesn't seem right. They make a saving that right? throw, so that's correct. Um, okay. All right, so they make a save. What is the save of your spell DC? Um, your spells should tell you the DC on your spell tab. Spell tab. Uh, did it hit DC uh, 16? 16, okay. Uh, this guy's intelligence save is at plus zero. And he rolled a 10. Uh, so he fails and takes all 12 of that damage. So what happens here, um, it's important here, is that you are going to now be visible because you cast a spell okay. and that ends your invisibility spell. Okay. Um, the good news is uh, this guard won't be able to take reactions, which will be really yeah. helpful for Bajak's attempt to dash into the door um, and is going to get an opportunity get presumably be attacked by other members of the dragon blades in rapid succession here in a minute mm -hmm. um which is probably going to be rough for him uh okay uh bajak make a roll to to get in that door what do you want to roll here i mean moving quickly athletics absolutely 26 okay nice. so you see uh, Donabella lash out with psychic energy at this guy. Donabella is visible. You know there's nothing to do here, and so you just bolt. Uh, you fly across uh, and open the door and dash inside. Then Ilya is also going to appear out of the shadows, having raced across the ward and attack. What are we doing? Cadric said to himself. <laughs> Okay, so I might be doing overkill because I don't know how powerful this guy is, but I rely on him to die so he doesn't shout for his friends or that anything. That is to your advantage. Yes. This guy dying <laughs> this round is important. <laughs> so, okay. My first attack is a 17. That just hits. Okay, so Ilya, like, leaps out of the shadows and holds up the double-bladed scimitar and where, like, the blades would be to, like, shadowy blades appear. Stabs it into this person. Um, first, this is the weird thing that happened before where it gives me the wrong damage. But it's seven damage, I think. Yeah, seven damage. Okay. Um, and then I will just make this person my favorite foe to get an extra 1d6. Mm -hmm. So that's six extra damage. Okay. And then for my something with the ranger i can make an extra attack mm -hmm. i think on the first turn correct so that's a 29 that Ooh. will certainly hit <laughs> um for 10 extra damage okay and then my second attack just for mm -hmm. being a ranger as a 24 hits for nine damage and can I do 
Oh, I didn't do this before. Is it too late to do a searing smite? I didn't say it before. No, you can say you did. Okay, I want to do a searing smite on it, now, too. Now, you know that searing smite sets oh, him on fire. Oh, yeah, okay. That's fair. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm not going to do a searing smite. Okay. So, the rest of you see, he's not dead. Um, Thistle will <laughs> attack. Okay. Um, I'd like to spend my bonus action on ensnaring the strike. Okay. Um, and then shoot him with an arrow. Yeah. For 23. So that hits. Um, that will do 14 um, damage plus, so 19 damage, and then I need to roll the ensnaring strike. Um, well, the, the, the thorny vines come out. I would like mm -hmm. them to cover his mouth. Okay. Nice. Uh, um, so normally he would make a strength save, right? Right. But dead people automatically fail strength saves. Um, so, yes. Uh, oh. Ilya, or uh, Donabella, lashes out with her mind. Uh, the, the soldier reels backwards as Ilya jumps out of the shadow, slashes across him. He's halfway through getting his sword out when Thistle's um, small little arrow uh, just goes <laughs> right through his eye socket. Um, and he drops to the ground, uh, and just flavor wise, I'm going to say Donabella stops him from hitting the ground with telekinesis. Uh, Done. So, Good job. We did it. Uh, yes, you have very successfully, uh, just straight up assassinated one of these guards. <laughs> well, it was probably an evil guard. I, I, I didn't say that as a moral judgment. Uh huh. <laughs> This is a <laughs> bad place. <laughs> we all heard the just distracting part, right? Like, I just, well, like, that wasn't just me. We're, we're, we're okay. Well done. Well done. But. It's Wendy. There's no need for distraction now. Now that, put him in the room so no one sees him. <laughs> is there any vegetation to hide him in there's definitely no vegetation um <laughs> so Cadric, you haven't made a roll this round for this so you got a you got a, a roll for hiding a body um <laughs> i do i do i'm gonna say that uh my my objective here is the same the same stack of random fantasy prison detritus that there was sure, with barrels sure. and boxes and whatnot. Uh, I'm going yeah, to try to, to pull him uh, behind that, uh, but I'm going to try to do it quietly okay. uh, and remaining steady moving. So I'd like to roll stealth for that. No one has rolled stealth for this round, so you can do that. I'm so proud of how we just utterly annihilated this guy. I have a plus I mean, eight I and two. I have to push. <laughs> Yep. 23. Okay. Uh, you managed to bundle the corpse into a crate. Um, Are there uh, any keys relative. on this body as I'm, as I'm moving it? Sure. Okay. Have them to have them. Sure. Uh, all right. Uh, that, everybody has now rolled this round. Um, three of you rolling attacks, two of you rolling skill checks. Uh, so we get to roll a complication. So who would like to roll a d6? <laughs> I'll roll a d6. Go for it. Five. Boy, that's appropriate here. Uh, okay. Um, Bajak, you dive uh, through the door. <laughs> <laughs> the last two complications have started with the word Bajak. I know. <laughs> Laura rolled a trap. And it is the <laughs> extremely logical thing that uh, Bajak, in blazing his way through a door, um, risks triggering a trap. Uh, so what yep. happens here is, Bajak, as you run through the door as an uninvited guest, 
uh, a glyph immediately glows on the wall right next to you and casts hold person. Oh no. And I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Um, but Jacques is wise. It'll be fine. Natural Real quick. 20. Let's go. Uh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Well done. But Jacques' mind is too filled with annoyance right now to feel anything. That <laughs> <laughs> <My> man <laughs> cannot be complicated. <laughs> All right. But Jacques, you're inside, so you should obviously start this round off. Uh, what is the role you will make? So um, you you got in very quickly. Uh, you can tell which door was just gone through. That it's still open, and you can hear um, the figure uh, as you peek around the door. You can see the the garb. The the figure in the big coat has taken the coat off. It's hanging on the uh, on a peg on the wall. Um, this looks like nothing except a torture chamber. Ooh. Um, uh, Wendy, uh, Colin, did you tell us Wendy's species? You told us that Wendy was a fighter. Did you tell us? Uh, I didn't. No, human was my intention there. Okay. Um, Wendy certainly looks like she's been put through it. Um, mm. And the as you come around, uh, the figure is just standing up, uh, and you can see um, blood uh, on the sides of his chin and fangs uh, as the <gasps> vampire stands back up and says... Okay. Now, I can taste your thoughts. Tell me where they are hiding. Um, how will, what is Jacques' goal, or how is Jacques going to attempt to get Wendy out of here? Um, I mean, it's just the one figure with Wendy, correct? Uh, yeah, you're not sure where the minion has gone, but he's, he's on his own. Okay. Uh, I mean, this figure needs to be dealt with, and so Bajak is going to try to sneak up and incapacitate them at the very least, but ultimately try to kill them. Um, but sure, um, just because obviously he can't stealth around them and unhook Wendy in this situation. Right, right, yeah, so, no, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, uh, so uh, okay, attack rolls or stealth roll? Like, what do I need to? Uh, I'm going to say this figure is already focused on Wendy, so you are effectively hidden from them. Also, you've made some successful stealth rolls already. Uh, so you're effectively hidden from this person. Um, so okay. you may attempt uh, an attack roll with advantage. Okay. First attack. Uh, because I know it's relevant to many of the things that your character's subclass does, this creature is, un is undead, obviously. Okay. Uh, 21 to hit. <laughs> yes, that does. That does hit this creature. Okay, so first attack, that's 12 damage. This okay. the first hand axe comes up and smashes into the side of the, care, the creature's head. Second attack. Oh, and actually, after the first attack, I'm going to spend one key point. Mm -hmm. uh, he needs to pass a DC 17 uh, saving throw or be what stunned. save? Uh, Constitution. <laughs> Not the strength of vampires, you may yes. be surprised to learn. Uh, but that first one is rolled a natural 19. Okay. Second attack. 18 to hit. Uh, yes. Five, 12 damage. Almost didn't add my modifier. Okay. Spend a key point. Uh, fails this one, 13. Okay. He's now stunned until the end of my next turn, which means he is incapacitated. Mm -hmm. Um... And attack rolls have advantage. I'm going to spend a key point to Flurry of Blows him. Mm -hmm. uh, so two attacks as a bonus action. Monks, man. Natural 20. Nice. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, 13 damage. Okay. And then the last attack, 22. Yep. Uh, nine damage. Okay. Uh, this. So you rush in, and there is just a, a literal 
flurry of attacks. Um, the the creature you you smash your axe across the creature. Uh, the vampire turns, reeling, sees you, but before they can react, uh, you strike again, and they are left stunned uh, as you begin to rain blows on them. Uh, this creature is very, very hurt, um, but not uh, not dead. Um, I'm going to just of- declare okay. that as a monk of the way of long death, you know how vampires work. Yeah. Okay. So, um, it's stunned, so it, it, they, they cannot do anything, or he cannot do anything with his turn, so he spends his turn reeling and is unable to react or sound an alarm or attack you or any of the mm-hmm. many delightful and horrifying things that I would usually do with this creature. <laughs> the only reason I attacked is because I had stunning strike. Yeah. I was like, nope, no, I, I can... I totally understand. <laughs> yep. So... I, uh, I mean, so you you have another turn if you want to go. Okay, I wasn't sure if we were going to go to everyone else. Okay, uh, run it back. Um, so, first attack. Now, I just oh. want to clarify. You know how vampires work, and so right. you know right. what a vampire will do at zero hit points. Right. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, it doesn't uh, know. Uh, hmm. Vampires at zero hit points. For those who don't know. Uh, turn into mist and go back to their coffin and begin to regenerate. Do we know how long that takes? It takes a while, but it would be bad. Oh. And there's no way to prevent that, correct? There is one very classic way to prevent that. <laughs> is the stake in the heart? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Bajak would look around. Can I say that Bajak would have prepared and sharpened the ends of his hand axes? Oh, I love it. Yeah. Oh, okay. That is uh, excellent. So Thirty-one to things. hit with his hand axe to stab it in the vampire's chest. Hundred percent, yes. Uh, and okay. I think with, uh, um, I think when it's incapacitated, that's just that's that's just that. But let me double check. Um, Uh, in its resting place. Ah. Uh, well, that seems silly and not classic, so I'm going to ignore that. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. So, yes, you uh, stab it through the heart um, and roll, roll damage for that attack. 14. 14 uh, is enough to bring it to zero hit points with a stake through its heart. So, yes, you bash, 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 flip it around and just jam a stake through the heart. Uh, The vampire gasps, its eyes clear just long enough for you to see the unlife leave them. Uh, And they slump to the ground, dead. Excellent. Oh, that's so cool. And uh, Thanks to uh, Touch of Death, Way of the Long Death Bunk, I get 17 temporary hit points. So. Awesome. Nice. For killing a thing. Nice. Wow. As Bajak seems resolved, uh, witnessing the death of an enemy. Um, and then he stands up and begins to uh, remove Wendy's restraints. Um, sure. Uh, so. He walks, he walks up. Obviously, Wendy is in a bad state and just mm-hmm. gently puts a hand on her forearm and looks in her eyes and just gives her a slight nod. Um, it'll she be She okay. nods, nods back. Uh, so, uh, mechanically speaking, uh, Wendy is uh, v- very few hit points. Wendy has, Wendy has 10 hit points uh, and Wendy has a couple levels of exhaustion. Um, so, okay. you can, a- you can, you're absolutely able to free Wendy. Uh, I will ask for a roll uh, from somebody to ensure that Bajak extricates Wendy from this tower successfully, because we need one more roll for this task. Um, uh, and you will either have to stash Wendy somewhere or take Wendy with you on the rest of this mission, which whoever is minding Wendy will have to make their, their roll with disadvantage. Okay, so first you need another roll. I need a roll from anyone 
who wants to uh, to ensure that they get out okay. If somebody else wants uh, to say they run in and help them out, like whatever. Could um, that's me. Oh, go. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, you you were. Um, could, could we spend a spell for that? Like, could I spend cure wounds or? Oh sure. Yeah. Um. That would that would help her enough so she could walk on her own. Sure. If you want to say that you you rush in and and cast use up a spell slot and uh, heal Wendy um, so that she's less of a liability. That's fine. Is is uh, that okay, okay, Mia? Do you do... Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's great. Okay. All right. I'm spending Cure Wounds to heal her. Okay. I will offer you something. If you spend Cure Wounds at your highest possible level spell slot, I will say that it heals Wendy sufficiently that she is not only not a hindrance, but might be capable of, in some ways, being an asset. Oh. But you have to give up your highest level spell slot. Did anybody else hear him twirl his mustache? Yes, <laughs> I did. One hundred percent. That was pretty audible, right? <laughs> Yep. Oh my gosh. I, yeah. This thistle wood. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's so> <laughs> there it uh, is at fourth level. Awesome. Um. Uh. Roll the uh, roll the d8s so I can know how many hit points. Wendy is at 28. Nice. All right. So Wendy has 38 hit points. Um, and, uh, I don't have, obviously I don't have stats for Wendy because we invented Wendy just a minute ago. Uh, but, uh, (laughs) each round, um, Wendy can take the help action on one of the rolls. Uh, and so one of you, you can decide which one Wendy helps with um, and give advantage to that role. Also, nice. you all just did something um, heroic at disadvantage to yourself. And so everyone has inspiration. Hey. Huzzah. Very cool. Uh, all right. So you have overcome your extra obstacle that you took on. Uh, and we are in a uh, on to the next obstacle. So you have acquired where Cardane is. Um, but Jacques is able to cast, is going to use locate object on his, uh, thing. So I assume that's what Bajak is doing for this round. Um, success. Yes. His mark activates as he focuses on the concept of Cardane's name, number plate thing. Awesome. Um, you tell me, uh, what, what is the sensation like to Bajak in terms of what does he, what does he get? Um, like, is it a scent? Is it a ping? Is it a, a pull? What is what does it feel like to Bajak to know where this thing is? Yeah, I think it is a um, an arcane like tug in his mind, like spatial awareness. When like you're aware that somebody is standing like over your shoulder, it's that kind of sensation just in the mm-hmm. direction that the item is. So this is a really timely use of this. Um, because the pull is not towards the gold tower. It's towards Ooh. the workshop tower. Mm. Ah. That makes sense. I'd have gotten away if with we were it. Smarter, it we for that meddling that. half-orc. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yes. So, you have a success on the Reach Cardane obstacle. Uh, and you now know that you're heading in the right direction instead of the wrong direction that I tried to send you on. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And Bajak gestures towards the workshop tower. He's there. Okay. I'm not going to argue with Bajak. <laughs> He's certain. We go. He used words out loud. We go. All right. Uh, so Bajak has contributed this round. Um, we have four more moves to make. So what we're doing right now, essentially, is you're going to need to get into that tower. Uh, You're going to need to get to 
Cardain without detection. I would like to see if the keys that I picked up off of that guard work on a door that, well, first, if a door is locked, and second, if it is, use the keys on it. Okay. Uh, what will you be rolling to, to make stuff? I'll tell you, though. You can also just give me back that inspiration and tell me that the keys work. Man, I know. Bite the mustache twirl. I, I am a mustache twirler myself. <laughs> the problem is that the last three rolls I've had, I've had to push. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I feel like I'm. I'm but this would eliminate a roll, right? Predisposing yeah, of the, the, <laughs> the need for it. So yeah. I'm going to do that. I'm going to use the inspiration. It is gone. So right. I have the key that opens the door. Awesome. Um, yeah. Sweet. That right. was lucky. Fortune favors the bold. Or the dude hiding the body of the bold <laughs> creation. <laughs> Listen, Did you're the know? you're the team leader, so the success of the team is that's what he keeps telling us. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> There's no I in team, guys. Come on. Just me. So, uh, um, are we? He has the keys to mm -hmm. the workshop tower. Mm -hmm. Um. Can I can I find a rat and speak Almost with certainly. it to give us suggested route? Sort of like I, I want to I want to know the the least uh -huh. um, trafficked areas. Casey is always ready to talk to something, and I <laughs> love it so much. No. You Absolutely. know his trees. Uh, so make, Philip, make up a voice on the spot. <laughs> so, <laughs> a rat. Um, is uh, is this a, this is a resource you have that you can? You I can have speak cast. with animals. Great, uh, cast it. Uh, yeah. So it it takes you a, a just a minute to find a, a rat. There's um you know there's there's not as much of a food store here um due to the number of undead. So there's not as much for rats to eat, but you find one. Uh. Uh, There's a new corpse across, <laughs> scuttling across, uh, drawn by a by a familiar scent, um, <laughs> uh, and it stops and looks up and says, "What do you want?" I I would like help, please. Why? Help doing what? Uh, well, we're going to go through this building and I don't want to be seen much like you prefer not to be seen. Right. Yeah. I'm really unhappy that you saw me. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm so sorry. You are very good at what you do. Um, and I would like to be more like that. Could, should, could you should be more like us? Yeah. Agreed. Um, could you tell me or show me the least crowded way into or throughout this building? You won't fit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Actually, I might, but my friends might not. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I like I can a, be smaller. Way for big creatures. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Uh, I guess. Yeah. All right. It's this way. Oh, uh, thank you. And it begins scuttling off ahead of you. So that's three successes. because You spent a spell slot, so that, that's a, that cost. Uh, all right, so we're at three successes. Um, so the door is open by Kedrick, um, and the rat begins leading you through corridors. Uh, we are at Ilya and um, Donabelle. This looks just like this way, guys. Do I still have my pass without trace on, or has it been more than an hour? Mm, no, it's probably not been an hour yet. Okay. Can I just make a stealth roll? Yeah. Yeah, no one's rolled stealth yet. No, no one's rolled anything oh, yet. Oh, shoot. Did you want to do it? No, 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 no. Nope. 
Okay. Uh, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Uh, yeah, you are you are one oh, with that, the darkness. That was uh, I rolled a three for that. Others merely adopted the darkness. Wow. You were bored. <laughs> Molded by it. Uh, all right, Donabella. What is Donabella doing this round? Does um, does Wendy need to be minded in some way, or or is uh, that? She does not, but she can, in fact, she hasn't yet, so she can help Donabella with Donabella's check and give Donabella advantage on it. Oh, but I can't do a stealth check. Correct. Okay. Um, uh, sorry, I'm just looking. I think I may just uh, take the turn to to do false life. Okay. I, I can't think of anything else to do to assist mm-hmm. except just get ready for the next. Uh, well, you have some yep. telekinetic abilities for moving stuff around yeah, uh, or getting places. So if you want to like describe how you help overcome some obstacle in the way using your telekinesis abilities and spend uh, like one of your side sci- dice or something. Uh, okay. You could do that. Sure. What uh what what does Donabella get out of the way? What does Donabella do with her telekinesis? Ouch. Um, let's say that there is a door um that has sort of come off its hinges and is blocking the route, mm-hmm. and Dol- Donabella moves it out of the way. Yeah, yeah. Door sticks, uh, yep. in spite of it being unlocked, uh, and the door just slowly vibrates and then flies open, uh, as as Donabella stares at it real hard, eleven style. Ah, I like that. Uh, all right. So you all, um, very, very carefully, uh, between the, uh, incredibly, uh, uh, beneficial, um, pass without a trace, uh, and, uh, Bajok's identifying the exact location of your target, the very helpful rat, um, and the, the, the fortunate find of keys, Uh, You all uh, are able to move into the interior of this place. You are looking at a a room uh, that is essentially the uh, a big wide open space. um, A big wide open circular room uh, and all throughout it, there's there's workshop equipment, there's things, uh, and you can see uh, Cardane moving around uh, in the space. Um, as you approach, uh, your way is blocked by a wall of invisible force. Mm. Uh, and it's also time to roll a complication. Mm-hmm. Uh, who's rolling? I have not rolled yet. All right, go for it. That's a one. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. I don't, don't love that reaction. <laughs> As you're coming towards, you hear voices. Okay. And, uh, uh, of people coming back down the corridor, um, coming up the corridor towards the the cell that you're looking into. Uh, so, uh, and you can see that there is someone carrying a light coming this direction. Mm. Uh, so, some real quick getting out of the way is going to be necessary um, right here. Uh, so let's let's deal with that, and then we'll see who comes around the corner. Um, unless you're just going to stand there and attack whoever comes around the corner. As we all hear this, Kadrick is going to say, can we hide for this one, please? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> um, so uh, we can make rolls, or if somebody's got a handy way of of making everybody hide, that's also viable. 
I mean, if we all tuck into a corner, I could cast darkness on us, but then we would just lose Pass Without Trace. It would be a blob of darkness. <laughs> yeah, that would, with <laughs> okay, a lamp walking down but... the hall, it would kind of stand out. You guys never want me to cast darkness, and I need you to be more supportive. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> just, just, no, we won't be. Don't, don't you Maybe have, next time. Don't you, can't you make a hidey place? With yeah. uh, rope the rope! Us. With the rope! Rope trick us. Yeah! Everyone get on my rope. <laughs> 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 that's me once. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can Don't have to ask Laura? you once. You're just gonna do it. <laughs> yes, like, without <laughs> Correct. consent. This is <laughs> so much percent. problematic, so quick. <laughs> what? <laughs> we, zero I've to never problematic. Had a player take that spell. Ooh. Um, I didn't take it. It was forced upon me. So, because <laughs> it is with the gloom stalker. But like, you know, I'm beginning to like it. <laughs> Yeah, no, Ilya pulls out the rope and it just starts going towards the, the ceiling and we all have to climb up on the roof, rope to go into my extra dimensional space. That's crazy. I kind of wish I wouldn't have sacrificed That's the genie fantastic. bottle that I had. <laughs> you gave up your genie bottle? Yeah, 100%. What? We were flavoring it as a dragon, so. So quickly. Oh my goodness! That's okay, like the so best part um, of that. all right, so so this is obviously some kind of magic that Donabella has has learned. Mm -hmm. What's Ilya? this? Uh, I'm sorry, ah, I keep doing that. The Ilya has no learned. What's uh, what's this like? Is this is this something from from her parents? Is this an umbrage attack thing? What is the what is the nature of this? What's this look like? Uh, it's definitely an umbrigen thing and maybe we just go into like um just some cold creepy darkness place okay it's so, all it's very unsettling to everyone else yeah so i'm imagining like where the where the spell touches the ceiling uh essentially just inky blackness mm -hmm. spreads across and is that okay and, eric and Ilya is yeah. just Ilya is just like all right hop in <laughs> <laughs> oh, this place again. Yeah. It, <laughs> oh, it was not that bad last time. It. It has been you every time. Recovered. Love, and he Come climbs on. up the rope. <laughs> uh, Donna Bella would like to wait to be the last person. Okay. This oh, is in. My... Ilya gestures <laughs> Donna Bella up the rope. Yeah. Okay. So Jacques climbs in. Yeah. In. It feels cold as you go through. Um, and on the other side, colors are muted, like everything's sort of sort of gray tones. Uh, but you can see out uh, into the passage. Oh, that's so um, cool. And I'm looking the at the down. spell. Uh, it, yeah, very like that, yes. Uh, and I'm looking at the spell, and you can just make the opening invisible. So you just have, that's, why don't so, more people use that spell? So if we're uh, in the upside right? down of the really dread hole, spell. is the place like really nice actually? Like it's No, yes. no it's not. Because uh, the, <laughs> the standard rules for upside down would not make the dread hole a cool place. Three people come down the passage. One of them is a skeleton wearing green robes and, fan, and fine armor uh, with a jewel stuck in one of its eye sockets. Uh, and a cold light burning in the other. They are followed by two humanoids. Uh, one is a drow, the other is a human. Uh, and they are not dressed like people of the Emerald Claw or staff at the Dreadhold. They're clearly from the Dominion. And one of them has a dragon mark, or the drow has a dragon mark over most of her body uh, an aberrant dragon mark over most of her body uh, the skeleton is saying I appreciate the thoroughness of the morning star but as you will see the prisoner remains entirely secure and uh, the human um, uh, with 
who is a, a human woman with uh, flowing curly red hair uh, says there was an incident yesterday in Stormreach and we were the Morning Star simply wished to ensure that everything on all quarters is as it should be. Donabella, you know the drow. Hmm. You went to school with this drow. It's Nasaria. What? And that is where we will wrap up this episode. Oh! I hope you all are having fun. Uh, if you'd like to get in touch with us, you can find links to all of these wonderful people's various things down below to Mia's Twitch and to Laura's Twitch and to Colin's Twitch. Uh, and not to Eric's Twitch, but Eric has a YouTube channel, The Geek Pantheon, uh, where you'll find TTRPG videos um, and and. Casey doesn't have a Twitch, so I, there's not a link to Casey's Twitch. Yet. Um, Sorry. Yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> New episodes of Kyber Shards drop on Mondays. New Kyber Shards answers on Fridays. And until next time, thanks for rolling with us.